Hi, I'm Young John, bringing you 2019's Toy Fair at the Jacob Javits Center. Hello everyone, my name is Amy Braun. I am the Head of Marketing for Pi Technology, and we are so excited today to introduce you to our newest item, PyBots, our augmented reality construction robotics kit. What makes PyBots so incredibly exciting is that you actually get to build six different robots or any of your creations and then learn to program them with an easy, visible programming language. We have 150 different pieces and of course you can build any of your own ideas as well. Once you've built one of the robots, you actually enter into our world of play where we have over 30 different augmented reality puzzles and within each puzzle we're teaching children the critical thinking and logic upon which coding is based. As we go through these levels, they each teach different skills, values, looping, sequencing, and a child really gets to learn and be exposed to coding through a visual programming language. From there, they actually can build, take any of their own robot creations and use our coding language to bring it to life. So this is the app interface. Once you open the product, you would have the 150 pieces and then go to the app store to download our app. You would then enter the build world. From there, you would be able to scroll through and see the six different robots that we offer for you to build. Once you select one, you would be able to then see it being built piece by piece. So you tap the button on the right hand side of the screen and it will slowly show you step by step how to build the robot. Now, um, of course, since this is a child's toy, you can always go backwards. You can go as fast, as slow as you like. It's completely driven by the child. What is also really special is that the child is able to spin the robot um, on the screen to be able to see it from every different angle. Once the robot is complete, the app will ask the child to scan it in order to verify it and you will get a fun, cute, animated response. Once the robot is built, we actually go into the world of play. And here we have the 30 different levels of augmented reality puzzles where we're teaching children the different programming logic ideas. Once we enter a level, we'll scan the robot We get a great physical response and up pops an augmented reality world. These worlds are all built on a story about Nova and her friends and so children have to code Nova and her friends through these 30 levels in order to help them get home safely. Once Michael drives to the tower, he'll tap the play button and up will pop the coding blocks to complete the sequence in the tower. In this level, we're actually teaching sequencing and values as well. Here you can see one block represents three different things, and we will then be able to let the child know that in coding, you can oftentimes have one command do multiple things. Once he's finished, he'll tap play. The robot will now physically enact the code that he has written. You can see that we definitely offer validation. We want to make sure that the child is receiving positive reinforcement as they move through the game. Here you can see um, the child has access to an array of different visual programming blocks from movement to music to triggers, um, looping. We offer the child a lot of different ways to explore and play with coding. In this scenario, we've actually set up a um, looping musical uh, set. So once Michael taps play, I actually need to wave my hand in front of the robot in order to start the command. And from there, once the child has explored this, the possibilities are truly endless. At the beginning of each time you play, we actually set up our space by outlining the augmented reality area for the tablet. So Michael is currently dragging the lines to map out where he wants the augmented reality to show. One of the important reasons for this is we oftentimes know that it can be challenging for a child to maintain complete connection in the same space with the tablet. So what this allows the child to do is shake, move, leave the area completely, but of course be able to go back to the area that they had denoted as the space um, and their map will still be there, offering no frustration and easy play. So there's also the ability to go into control mode where you can actually remote control the robot for fun, silly play as well. It's available for pre-order on Amazon.com 
and it's called PyBots, P-A-I-B-O-T-Z. To learn more about the product, you can go to www.pi.technology or find us on one of our many social channels, Instagram, Facebook, at PyTechnology.